Hello guys, another through night product. Actually, it's really the same hose with different LEDs and circuitry. Alright, let's see what this one is. Silica gel, all ring spare boot, uh, lanyard, fluffy lanyard, pretty good stuff. Basic box, but you know, good enough. Alright. Holster. Let's take a look at the holster. Okay, Velcro over belt. The Velcro is not very large, so doesn't seem like it would hold very strong. I would not recommend using the Velcro. It doesn't seem strong at all, okay? I would just run my belt through the fixed loop in the back here for this particular holster. Uh, the holster doesn't even have, okay, it doesn't have through nice stamp, but there's there's a tap here. It's all right. I don't know. I kind of prefer the Olight X7 holster more than this one just because of that weak, that's a weak spot right there with the, um, with the Velcro over belt not being very strong. All right. But it's a decent holster. It's actually more well padded than the Olight X7 VN holster. Okay. That's that. Most people don't want to use their holsters. So, uh, looks like a TN36 or TN30 because it is. This is the Thrunite TN30 VN35, all right? 35 because it'll have three XHP35 LEDs, HI actually. So, we have a lot of iterations of the pop can light. None of them really, really throws, right? The ones that th uh, throw best so far would be the X7 VM here. Throws 100K Lux. Puts out uh, an ANSI of uh, 13,500 lumen. So that's a lot of output for 100K. Uh, with uh, 100K Lux is amazing. Gets hot very fast, right? Obviously, gets hot very fast. So, and it also costs a whopping uh, $350 plus. I think the Shape Dome version is even more than $350. It's expensive, right? So, my goal is to replicate the throw because most, most of these pop can light don't throw very well. I want to replicate the throw and provide it at a relatively reasonable cost. So, 100K Lux on the X7VN, this TN30. Uh, TN30 VN35 is also 100K Lux, but it has about half the output of the X7 VN. This one right here has, let me remember, mm -mm 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 -mm. it has uh, 100K Lux, 13,500 lumen. This one has uh, 6,500 lumen, roughly half the output, same on throw. The advantage is, with half the output, it's uh, it runs a lot. I wouldn't say it's a cool light. It gets hot too. All my light gets hot. All right. Let's let's not even talk about heat. All my lights gets hot on turbo very very quickly. But relatively speaking, it is a lot cooler than the X7 VN here. So, and it's a lot. It's going to be a lot cheaper. This light about three hundred fifty dollars. This light I'm hoping to keep it around. I don't have the price solid solidified yet. But I think it's going to be around two hundred dollars. So you're going to save is you can save one hundred fifty dollars right there, and you have similar throw. You have six thousand five hundred lumen, which is no slouch, and you have a very good quality hose. And on top of that, you get dryer VNX two also. So you have a very nice fast user interface, decently throw well, and um, yeah, for a two hundred two hundred dollar price point, I think it's a very attractive light. Um, I've did reviews on the build quality of the spike or variations of it already so I won't go in depth with that. I'm gonna cut this video short so that just introduce this existence and then I think the night outdoor beam shots of it will speaks for itself how it throws very well. And the XHP 35 HI uh, the ones I have in here are roughly 6,000 to 6,500 Kelvin and it's a very nice pure white tint. You don't have any funny purple or yellow in it. So that's a very, very nice tint. I will likely have higher CRI warm tint and neutral tint also. So uh, watch out for that. Um, for me though, I personally would go for the cool white version of the XHP35HI. 
just because um, or the new Cho 5000 Kelvin both are nice I just don't like the warmer higher CRI okay um, 3000 Kelvin higher CRI right that's that nice budget pop can light that actually throws as good as the best pop can light out there at a very decent price and manages heat very well so in practice uh, uh, during use on the field it's more it's a quite a bit more practical on turbo than the other lights here where turbo is more of a show-off mode and then you have to step down one or two level after some use this one you can actually run turbo for quite a little while before you have to step down all right that will be all. Thank you. I really, really like this light, by the way. I wouldn't call it my recommended pop can light because the X7 right now is, I like top of the line max performance, but this is a very nice one at low rise, a uh, nice, well-rounded light for practicality. But I know most of my customers don't care about practicality, but it's there, okay? And I'm offering it. Thank you. Bye-bye.